Here's how to control an LED or a lamp with a micro bit. So the things you're going to need to do this are one micro bit, USB to connect that. You'll need an LED and two alligator clips. Doesn't matter what color, but I've got a red one here. So let's push that over into the corner. This is all the materials you'll need. And let's go to the website that we're going to use. So we want to go to makeco.microbit.org. I click New Project. I'm going to call it Pen Zero. Okay, you'll start with an on start and a forever, and you don't need either one of those. So I'm going to go ahead and delete those. Here you have your virtual micro bit. What we do need are two inputs. Let's do the A button. And then grab that A button again. And this one we're going to switch to B. So now on our little micro bit, when we get done coding, this A button on the left will do one thing, turn the lamp on, and the B button will do the other thing, turn the lamp off. Okay. So then what we're going to need is something that uh, you won't see in any of these sections, but it is under advanced, and it is the pins section. Pins refer to the zero, one, and two spots on your board. We're just going to code everything in pin zero. So what we're going to do is grab this digital right. And whenever the A button is pressed, we're going to want to digital right pin zero to one. What that's going to do is whatever's plugged up here to pin zero, it'll turn it on. And then when we press the other button, we want to digital right that same pin to zero, which will turn this one off. Now, this thing doesn't know what we've got plugged up, but it can still show us something. So when we press A, you can see this one fires up. And when we press B, this one turns off. Okay, now over here on my little screen, let's just go ahead and take this uh, red one. Again, it doesn't matter what color. Put that on the zero. And let's take the other one, the green one here, and put it on ground. We're going to take the other ends of these two and hook them to our LED. I can never remember if the long one gets the positive or if the long one gets the negative, so just try it. It doesn't work. You flip them. And I do need to plug this. Take this little guy and plug him in here. And I can see some previous program is automatically loading there. Let's go ahead and put this small. All right. Now that I have my program written on the screen, I have everything wired over here in the corner. I've got everything wired up. Uh, now I need to download it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, download. And close this little guy. And here's my download. It's a .hex file. I'm going to show it folder. And I'm going to drag this file from here over to the micro bit. You'll see it copying over. Once it's complete, our program should be working. Okay, let's test it out. I hit A. Let's make sure we're wired correctly. A, B. I bet I have my little ends here flipped, so let's try switching them up. Kind of faint. I think that's my LED. B, A, B. Maybe we need a stronger light. A, B, off, on. And now that we've got it working for an LED, we can get it to work for any size light that we can hook up to this board. So let's try something a little bigger. So instead of powering a tiny LED, I'm going to try to power a big fat light bulb. Now there's not enough electricity coming through this, so we need to upgrade just a little bit. Now this is a power strip, much like any other one. Got this one on Amazon. What it has that's special is it has these little holes where you can connect wires. So be careful anytime you're playing with electricity, especially anything you're going to plug into the wall. Be very, very careful. Uh, but I'm going to show you how I do it. I've got these two positives and negatives coming out of the power strip, and then the other end 
looking to these same alligator clips that I've had. So now this pin zero is going to control whatever I've plugged into this. I've got this. I've got this lamp here plugged into that power strip. Is on, B is off, A is on, B is off. 